have you got a plain vase at home that's looking a little bit sad and lonely on its windowsill or shelf? Well, if you do, we are going to show you how to transform something very plain and boring into something amazing. And expensive looking too. It totally is. In just a few simple steps, so make sure you guys stay tuned to this video. I love craft stores that sell these kind of plain vases because you can do so much with them. Absolutely, and Hobbycraft do them so well. So this is obviously quite a large vase, but they do much smaller ones as well, little votives, yeah. even little baubles for Christmas. So if you can't get out of the house because maybe it's raining or you just need something fun to do with the kids, this is a really, really great little home and crafty hack, isn't it? It really is. It's something that anybody can do, no matter what artistic skill you have. So it's literally just dripping some paint on a vase. <laughs> yeah, it's that simple, but it does look pretty great. Okay, well, let's see you do it. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> So the great thing about this project is you hardly need any materials at all. So I've got my bars, uh, I actually got this vase from Hobbycraft, they do a fantastic range of just blanks. And then I've got a selection of colours here, some lovely blues, lilac and pink. So what we're going to do first is, because it's going to get a little bit messy, I've put some newspaper down first to protect my surface. You can put an apron on if you want to protect your clothes, but it's, uh, you know, we're not doing any splattering today, so I think I'll be okay. Now, to create the drips, I want the drips to go upwards. So to do that, you simply turn your bars upside down. Now you could choose to put a layer of a different colour, first of all, but I actually quite like the white of this vase. We don't need any paint brushes for this at all because you're simply going to be squeezing the paint directly out of its little pot. So I'm gonna start with this lovely blue colour. So I've given it a shake because you don't want it separating. And then what you want to do is put it in place and squeeze. And as you can see, it creates this beautiful drip effect. So sometimes I'm just gonna go a little bit more and you can go around afterwards, adding more where you like. Just see what it's doing. Oh yeah, that's looking good and just keep going. Less is more at the beginning, I would say, so don't go crazy because you're gonna be adding those extra colors afterwards. So I'll just keep going around the rim. Oh yeah, that's looking great. And then if there's a bit that you want to be extra long, you can just simply just add a bit more paint to that section and watch it go. Remember I said less is more, or this bit, more is more. Look at that, fantastic. So I'm just gonna keep going around in this way. So once you've gone all the way around, you should hopefully have an effect like this. And as you can see, I've made some longer and some I've kept short, but you can just keep adding to those depending on how long you want the drips to be. And then you can leave that to dry if you like, um, overnight I'd say, because the paint is quite thick. Or alternatively, and this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my next color now so the two colors combine as they drip down. So if you're finding that your paint is quite thick and it's not giving you the drips that you want, simply just mix in a bit of water into a, a little color palette and then that will just thin the paint down. So I'm gonna move on to my next color and I think I'm gonna go for this lovely peachy pink. So, let's give it a go. So I, mine is still wet, just to let you know. So, I'm just gonna do an odd one here and there and see what sort of effect that gives. Oh, it's so much fun. And another thing you can do, if you're feeling clever, is you can kind of, if you, 
If you press the paint down, you could, well, I just missed it, but if you press the paint down, you could try and get like a little blob like halfway down. No, it didn't really work. Oh, there it did, yeah. So, <laughs> if you can see that, I just turned it around. It's just got like a little drip halfway down, which can look quite nice, but like me, I've obviously just made a bit more of a mess. So I'm gonna keep going round with my pink, adding that extra layer. So I'm gonna leave the pink there. Um, I've actually left a bit more of a blue section, which I quite like, because I don't want it completely symmetrical all the way round. Now this is a great project to do with the family. Um, can you imagine just sitting around the table with the kids, maybe on a rainy day or something? Um, you don't need really any specific artistic skill to do this project, which is great. Um, yeah, you can just have a lot of fun with paint. So um, yeah, good one for the kids. So I'm now gonna move on to my third color. And I think I'm gonna go for this like pale gray color, which I think will lighten up some of those areas. So again, give it a good old shake. And then, you guessed it, start dripping. So I'll go straight into that lovely blue that I had from the beginning. Really saturate that bit. And I'll just keep going around. I love the way that it pulls down the colors that are already previously there. Can't really make a mistake with this sort of effect. Famous last word. Brilliant, so once you've done your third colour, again, you can leave it to dry if you like, but I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna go for a fourth colour, which is this lilac. Now I'm really happy with how this is coming together. And can you see how easy this is as well? So now I'm gonna be going on to my fourth color, which is this lovely lilac color. And again, I'm gonna start up the front here so you can see what I'm doing. Just start dripping. And what I love about this is the randomness. Some thick, some thin, some of those blobs are going all the way down, some of them are staying quite high up. And it just gives such a lovely effect. This is the sort of thing you'd see in uh, one of the high street stores, I think, actually. At a fraction of the price. I'll just keep going round. So that's me done with the lilac. Um, when choosing your colours, think about using like complementary shades. So you could be using something like purples and yellows together, so it really packs a punch. Maybe even a neon pink in there. But I've decided to go tonally the same, which I think works really nicely when the colours merge together. But if you're waiting for each one to dry, maybe try some of those real colour pops. So normally I would let this dry before the big reveal to Bex, but I really want to show her now. So. Um, I'm just gonna show her as is and hope she doesn't smudge it. Ah, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before what? you do anything, Missy, I see your bell sleeves. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Get those away from the wet paint, still right, not drying. It's wet. Okay, fine, I'm, I'm just gonna <laughs> sorry. I, sorry. I couldn't bear to wait 24 hours for this thing to dry because the paint is very thick and I wanted to show you today. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. I love the sheen from the paint mm. against the flatness of the ceramic vase. Mm. Oh, it pops it's so a well. good combo. It kind of reminds me, like looking at it from here, like a cake. Yes! <laughs> Doesn't yes. it? You know, like drippy icing. Yeah, and I've seen, you know, these kind of like splatter vases, these kind of drip vases, they are so expensive in these shops. I know. And like you said earlier, what a great way to kind of bring families together, to do something fun. This is a great <laughs> weekend craft. Absolutely. And boy, does it look amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope 
hope you enjoyed my tutorial of how to do a drippy edge vase. And apologies, it's still upside down. Yeah, and apologies to anyone that has tried this with some bell sleeves. It's probably <laughs> not the best thing to do. <laughs> but if you liked this video, then please give us a big old thumbs up. And also, don't forget, if you have any questions about this, then please contact me and Emily via our YouTube page and you will be, we will be able to answer all of your questions for you. Most importantly, please do subscribe, but also, even more so than that, if you know people that will really enjoy this video, go and share it with share them. Share the love. Sharing is caring. Absolutely. <laughs> so until next time, thanks so much. Bye. Bye.